In 1987, the Transformers toy line introduced the Headmasters, robots whose heads disconnected and transformed into small figures. The Headmasters were the centerpiece of the 1987 product line, but the year also saw the release of another kind of master toy. The Target Masters, Transformers whose guns transformed into small partners for the larger robots. Though rarely given the spotlight to the same extent as their Headmaster cousins, the Target Master concept of tiny transforming weapons has been frequently revisited in multiple different Transformers series. Let's look at the basics. The 1987 Target Master lineup consisted of a mixture of new Autobot and Decepticon figures and re-released toys from the 1986 line, each of whom came packaged with a unique Target Master partner. Exactly who and what these small transforming weapons were varied from story to story, with Hasbro in America and Takara in Japan each taking their own unique approach to the idea. In Hasbro's markets, the Target Master partners were aliens from the planet Nebulos, who partnered with the Transformers via the same binary bonding technology that created the Headmasters. A few pieces of media claimed that the Nebulons were small robots, but most sources identified them as organic beings. In the Marvel comic book, Target Master technology was invented by the Autobots as a way to replace the weapons that several of their number had lost. Some of the Autobots' Nebulon allies underwent extreme reconstructive surgery to biomechanically modify their bodies so that they could transform into new guns for the unarmed robots. Overwhelmed by the Autobots' new firepower, the Decepticons and their evil Nebulon allies copied the technology and became Target Masters themselves. In the animated series, on the other hand, the technology was invented by the evil Nebulons after several of the Decepticons refused to submit to the Headmaster process. Instead of their heads, the Decepticons offered up their weapons, which were converted into transforming exosuits that the Nebulons wore. After the Autobots' first encounter with the Decepticon Target Masters, Autobot scientist Brainstorm duplicated the process to create the Autobot Target Masters. In Japan, on the other hand, the Target Master partners were not organic aliens, but small transformers from a Cybertronian colony on the planet Master. This alternate version of the Target Masters appeared in the Japanese exclusive animated series Transformers The Headmasters, which saw a group of refugees from Master caught in a plasma energy explosion alongside two squads of Autobots and Decepticons. The explosion mutated the small master robots and fused them to the larger Transformers bodies. Though the toys were unchanged, the Japanese cartoon showed the Target Master's guns not simply being held in their partner's hands, but actually connecting to their arms at the wrist with a cry of Target creating a physical and mental bond that allowed the larger robots to understand the robotic beeping language that the small robots spoke in. The Japanese Target Master range didn't include the reissued toys from 1986 that Hasbro had released. Instead, it featured two Japanese-exclusive Target Master Autobots, Ricochet and Artfire, recolored versions of Autobots Jazz and Inferno, who didn't appear in the cartoon, but did show up in the Headmaster's manga. The Target Master concept continued into 1988. The new figures released this year are often referred to by fans as the Double Target Masters, as they each came with two Target Master partners who could combine to form a super weapon. 1988 also saw the release of the Decepticon combiner team, the Seacons. In addition to their normal robot and beast modes, each of these full-size figures could also transform into a third gun mode, designed to be wielded by their combined form, Piranicon and for this reason, they too were marketed as Target Masters. No further Target Masters were released in the original Transformers toy line, and it would be many years before the name would be used in a toy line again. 
But the concept of robots transforming into handheld weaponry would continue for years regardless. In 1990, the Action Master range of figures came packaged with small animal robots and drones who turned into guns. In 1998, several characters in Beast Wars Neo had the ability to transform into tertiary weapon modes. In the year 2000, Beast Machines featured the Beast to Weapon Deployers. All these characters and more would later be identified as kinds of target master by various pieces of 21st century media, illustrating how the term has evolved to the point that it can be used to refer to virtually any transformer of any size who can transform into a gun that other transformers can wield. Now, not every transformer who turns into a gun has been officially labelled a target master. Most famously, there's Megatron, the original gun former. And after their introduction in 2002's Transformers Armada, Minicons with weapon modes have featured in numerous Transformers series. But there are no obvious rules for who gets labelled a target master and who doesn't, and there's no real consistency. Some of these Minicons have been called target masters. And there have also been Micromaster Target Masters, and even human beings who use the power of the Master Force to transform themselves into Target Masters. The advantages of Target Master technology are also sort of vague, as the original comic and cartoon didn't spend much time exploring the characters or concept, focusing instead on the Headmasters. The best idea the Marvel comic had to offer was that a gun that could aim itself allowed the Transformer wielding it to concentrate on other matters in the midst of battle. It's only been in the 21st century that attempts have been made to expand the concept. Dreamwave Productions comic books put forth the idea that Target Master partners draw power directly from their larger partner's sparks making their gun modes significantly more powerful and dangerous than a normal Cybertronian weapon, an idea that would appear again in the Transformers Collectors Club series Beast Wars Uprising. In the evil mirror universe of Shattered Glass, Target Masters have the power to actually take control of the bodies of those who wield them, an ability shared by the Target Master-like Weaponizer Minicons seen in 2015's Robots in Disguise toyline and cartoon. Such ideas haven't been very widespread, but they do add some depth to the concept of the Target Master partnership, which has always been a bit lacking in comparison to the complex symbiotic relationships of the Headmasters. In the last decade, new toys of several classic Target Master characters have been released in various toy lines, beginning with Cyclonus and his partner Nightstick in 2008's Transformers Universe and continuing into series like Generations, Masterpiece, and Legends. 2019 has brought the Target Master concept to the fore again as part of the War for Cybertron Siege toyline. Now sold individually, without larger partners, they come with interchangeable blast effects parts and can all be held by any figure in the Siege line. Because the range includes not just classic characters, but also several new bots who turn into melee weapons like swords, axes, and hammers, the toys aren't called Target Masters anymore, but instead go by the new, less gun-specific name, Battle Masters. But whatever they're called, tiny transformers who turn into weapons for big ones are a popular and long-lived concept that spanned the brand's history. A straight shooting idea that's hit the bullseye on the hearts of Transformers fans. And those are the basics on Target Masters. Do you like transforming weapons? Talk about some of your favorites in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about the world of the Transformers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're able to, please consider supporting the series on Patreon.